Okay, good morning. Welcome to Family Math Number 110. Family Math Number 110. We were uh, talking about an old Moems problem last night, and we ended up having a really neat discussion about adding up integers. Yeah. So I wanted to uh, I wanted to talk about that because that, that was really fun. So the question uh, that we that started this all off was: You have this grid. It has one number in the first row, two numbers in the second row, three numbers in the third row, four numbers in the fourth row, and they all go in order: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. And the question was. What was the what thirteenth number in the sixteenth row yeah, or something yeah. like that? So that was kind of fun to to talk about. And what we ended up talking about is summing up <coughs> consecutive integers. One just as one. Make sense? Yeah. One plus two is three. One plus two plus three is six. Uh, so our first one is is uh, 1, second one is 3, third one is 6, fourth run, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 10, ten. fifth is 15, 15, 21, 21 28. 7 is 28, 8 is 36, 9 is 45. 45, and then here you notice some pretty interesting, an interesting pattern. Do you remember yeah. what it was that you noticed? Um, I think it was that, so 9 to power 45. Multiple. Multiple. 45 is a multiple, multiple of 9. 9. 28 is a multiple of 7. 15 is a multiple of 5. 6 is a multiple of 3, but 1 is a multiple of 1. And 1 is a multiple of 1. So you notice this really cool pattern that on the odd numbers, it seems like All the we get multiples. So 45 is a multiple of 9, 28 is a multiple of 7, 15 is a multiple of 5, 6 is a multiple of 3, and 1 is a multiple of 1. And that, was a, that was a really great thing to notice. And I think I, um, I, think I saw, saw something else, too. Okay, what, else, what was the other thing you noticed? 36 is a multiple of 9, 21 is a multiple of 7, 10 is a multiple of 5, Okay. 3 is a multiple of 3. You notice it went up this way too with the odd numbers. The one before was also a multiple. Yeah. Very interesting. So I want to explore this pattern a little bit more just so we can, we can see because it's a neat, A, it's a neat pattern and when we see neat patterns we should see if we can understand them a little bit more. Yeah. So 1 equals 1 times 1. That's our multiple here, right? Yep. 3 equals 2 times 6, right? 3 equals 2 times <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. 6 equals 2 times 3. 6 is twice this. 1 is 1 times this. What about 15? It's 3 times 3 times 5. 5. 28 is 4 times 7. 45 is? 9 times 5. Mm, interesting. 5 times 9. Okay, now, so from if this pattern continues, what do you think we're going to get in the 11th row? I think we're going to get 6 times 11, which is going to be 66. And sure enough, when I, add it, when I look at the 10th row here, I get 55. Mm -hmm. And the 11th row would be 55 plus 11, which is? 66. 66. Hmm. Cool. Cool. So there's even more of a pattern there than you expected, Yeah. right? Now, one other interesting thing is how do these numbers relate to each other? How does 1 relate to 1? How does 2 relate to 3? How does 3 relate to 5? How does 4 relate to 7? How does 5 relate to 9? How does 6 relate to 11? Are they related? What do you think? This is 1 more. I mean, this is 0 more, 1 more, 2 more, 3 more, 4 more, and 5 more. Interesting. Do you see any other relationships between them? That's definitely true. You found you found one. Is there a formula that we can figure out on how to go from one to one? The formula will say when I put in one, I get one. When I put in three, I get two. When I put in five, I get three. When I put in seven, I get four. When I put in nine, I get five. When I put in eleven, I get six, etc. Well, I don't really see anything. Well, for this one, you can, you, you fact, these are some factors of them. Right, it's exactly how they factor, that's true. 
Yeah, so these these two are the only prime ones. The the only like four primes. So how can I go from eleven to six? How can I go from nine to five? How can I go from seven to four? Well you eleven minus five is six. That's true. But if I just had a regular old odd number here, let's say number sixty five. Well, you I can, wouldn't know exactly how much to subtract. Well, you right? can you you can divide by two and then round up. Ah, interesting. Divide by two and round up, which this the, uh, the an, an alternate way to do that is add one and then divide by two. Hmm. So when I have an odd number plus one and then divide it by two. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Twelve goes to six. Ten goes to five. Eight goes to four. Five, six goes to three. Four goes to two. And two goes to one. One. So for an odd number, for an odd number, the sum that we get one plus two plus up to three or up to n for n odd, an odd number n, we go n times n plus one all over two. Mm -hmm. So when I want to add up the numbers up to nine, I take nine times ten divided by two which is 9 times 10 is 90, divided by 2 is? It is 45. For 7, I get 7 times 8, which is? 56. Divided by 2 is? It is 28. For 5, I get, get 5 get, times 6, which is? is um, 30. Divided by 2 is? 15. Look at this little formula we discovered, and it seems to work for the odd numbers. I see. Now we have to figure out a formula for the even numbers. Like, mm. hmm, what can we do with 6? Mm. I've, I've seen this this formula before, and I think it was like polygons or something. Interesting. Looks like the number of sides or something. What should we do for six? What should we do for six? Well, how does six relate to any of the numbers? How does six relate to 21? Or what about our formula we found for odd numbers? We could, I don't think well, the six four times three plus one. Six times three plus three. Mm-hmm. So eight times three is twenty-four, but that doesn't work for eight. Well, what about what doesn't work for eight? The f the formula. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Don't don't, don't try to get too complicated. Here's our formula for odd numbers. And I put a nine. I'd get nine times ten divided by two, which is forty-five. We could try n plus n. Plus, we could try n times n plus two divided by two. Well, you have eight. Well, if you do for an eight, you get eight. Times nine over two. Mm. Like when you plug the state in, uh -huh. eight times nine, that's seventy-two over two. Okay. But that is thirty-six. Wait a minute. So don't try modifying the formula first. Just try it. Eight times nine divided by two is thirty-six. What about for six? S um. Six times seven. Six times times seven is forty-two. Divided by two is twenty-one. Hey. That's. So 4 times 5 is 20 divided by 2 is 10. Hey. So the same formula for the odd numbers works for the even numbers also. Yeah, so this pattern that you discovered yesterday yeah. seems to work for all the numbers. Any number. Any, any n. n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Hmm. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. High five, guys. That's what math's about. Finding patterns. Was that fun? Yeah. Having fun finding patterns? Do you like that? Yeah. Think anyone's ever discovered that pattern before? I, I think so. maybe. Maybe. You said you've even seen this somewhere else before. Where, yeah, where do you think you I saw this in some sort of polygon formula. Drawing diagonals of polygons. Yeah. It's interesting. I think it was some sort of. Comes up in a lot formula. of places. All right. Good job, guys. Good job.